My uncle was clearly killed by the CIA, uh, but there were, but, but there, was, there, there was also an anger that had been sown um, across the American landscapes at that time that I think you know, contributed to this atmosphere of violence that led to his death, Martin Luther King's death, my father's death five years later, and all the other assassinations that we saw during the 1960s. Well, but that was, I mean, that was over 60 years ago and that institution, you know, those files are still classified as you well know, better than most, and those institutions remain intact and except for one series of hearings in 1975, there's been no meaningful effort to reform them. And you sort of wonder, like, at what point do we learn the truth about everything federal agencies have done with our money in our name, and at what point are they reformed? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's really, you know, we had, there's an act called the JFK Assassination Papers Act. It requires all those documents be released to the American public by 2018, all the documents pertaining to my uncle's death. And President Trump, when he ran the first time in 2016, promised to release them, and then he didn't, which always struck me as odd. And then President Biden ran promising to release them, and he didn't. I had the opportunity recently to ask President Trump directly why he did not release them. And he said that Mike Pompeo called him and said, uh, please do not make me the release of these. It, it, it is going to be a calamity for our country. Uh, uh, President Trump says this time if he, he's going to release them, and I believe that he will. 